Hey guys, we're back with more of the Battle Axe Run. We're working our way through a new game. We got a handful of bosses left. We got to go to uh, Guardian Dragon next. So Guardian Dragon and on to get through a new game. Then we'll hop into New Game Plus after that. I feel like this run's going all right so far. I mean, the Battle Axe is pretty solid. We just infused to Enchanted, so... I think I might have lost some damage. I don't really know. I don't remember what it was before, but... I still think it'll be fine. The Axe moveset's, like, pretty solid. Oh, yeah, I need the, uh... King's Ring on. What do I have for Int right now? I have 28. Hoping once we hit 30, the damage will go up a bit more. I'll grab this bonfire here. I feel like sometimes I skip this thing. And usually I don't die to Guardian Dragon that often, but if it does happen, then you gotta go all the way back from the Shaded Woods if you don't get another bonfire. Or plus 10 on both of these, right? Okay, just making sure. Couldn't remember. Crazy to think the last axe run I did, the Bandit Axe, was probably... Over a year ago. Well over a year ago, I think. It's probably like a year and a half ago. But axes have been out of the pool for a while. They probably back in for a couple runs, but couldn't say how long. But that's kind of how I structure these runs. Or like how I structure, like, I don't know, at the runs. I don't know. I basically just take weapons out of the pool. Like the same type of weapon out of the pool for like a certain amount of runs, depending on how many of them there are relative to how many weapons total. So like if you have less like, like, let's say great bows, right? There's, I think, four great bows in this game. In theory, there should be, like, huge gaps between each great bow. Great swords, on the other hand, there won't be big gaps just because there's so many. But Twitch requests also impact that, too. Like, you could have two great bows in a row if they were requested and picked. As he come down, I can't tell. Right here. It's hard to tell exactly. I'm just gonna run this way. I don't know where the fire is. That hurt, really. Oh, I actually hit him. Bad hitbox is benefiting me for once. Well, yeah, not there though, unfortunately. Oh my god, imagine landing a hit. I love the little patch of blue on his chin. <laughs> it's like so, it's so hard to see in the light. A lot easier to see when it's dark. Yeah, I thought his skin was definitely more green than this, though. It's got like a greenish tinge to it, greenish blue, I guess. I think I'm gonna grab the H feather just because I forgot Homeward. I mean, I have Homeward Bones, but it's kind of nice just to have the Feather. It'll actually be good, too, in case I, like, need a... Like, if I don't have Homeward, if I forgot to rest or something. I usually don't get it, though. Hope they bring zip lining back at some point. Because <laughs> why not, right? Maybe not zip lining through an entire area, but... Oh, it just kind of looks cool. You'd have some serious rope burn, though, from the... Because I don't have any gloves on. Also, I'm going to do this. Let me take this off, put the feather on. I'll probably go repair this armor at some point. I just hate having the broken armor icon on my bar, under my bar. 
Even though this armor does essentially nothing for defense. And you still get the soul buff if it's broken, so. Close it. It's a problem with two handing, apparently. They can't open doors. I don't think they can. Is that open? Nope. Definitely not open. Let me, uh, do this. Can't have full health for this part, because these guys hurt. Oh, God. And they track so well, too, as you're trying to get through them. Let's go do Giant Lord, then I think we'll level up after that. Because Giant Lord's going to give a ton of souls. Can't ring is off. Let me throw that back on. Actually, let me do it for that. I'm going to grab the torches from that chest, I think. I should have, like, plenty of torch time, but can't hurt to get these. Out of the way. The store doesn't close, right? Not for a while, anyway. Where does this thing even come from? I actually don't know where the giant head comes from. There? I guess that statue. Never really bothered to look, to be honest. I'm amazed that Giant Lord has such little health. Or maybe it's not even a little health, you just can kill him super quickly. This is not a good showcase of that. You kind of have to, though. You only have five minutes here. Oh, you went the other way. Of course you did. I, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know where he's attacking. Oh, that was so lucky that hit. <laughs> I probably would have died otherwise. And then back to Majula. We'll go level up. Wake up. Let's see, so we need to work on 18 Faith, we need 10 Attunement. Attunement's good. 17. Let's do like 15, I'm gonna get some... Hang on. Actually, don't, let me let me see how much, if I go all in, how much damage am I gonna get? 10 levels for 5 points of damage, that's kinda rough. Let's uh, not do that then, we'll just get 17, was it 17 and 10? Do this. For Homeward. Grab some life gems. Uh, we're kind of good on them, but might as well just top off. You know what? I'm going to repair this first. All this armor. Then life gems. Also, no, nope, King's Ring's fine. Throw this on. Oh. Do this. Try to remember to get the Radiance after we get through this sequence. Where are we going? We're going to drink Lick. Boom. I still find it interesting that enchanted moonlight greatswords make your all your damage physical. Okay, I get that that's the point of enchanted, but I still feel like it would have been uh, in like the other games it it maybe like not make it entirely physical. You know, it make it like physical and um, magic still like maybe fifty fifty or something. It's just weird to me that it works like that because like this thing doesn't have magic damage by default, so you'd expect it to all be physical if you make it enchanted, but something that has, like, magic damage already, making the entire thing physical is just interesting, I guess. I don't know how it works with, uh, like, weapons that have fire, or lightning, or dark damage. I don't know if it works the same way and it just makes all of it physical, or if it just takes... I don't know. I guess it would be physical and dark anyway. It's just, the Moonlight Greatsword's interesting because it's pure magic. We 
you guys gotta separate. Please. Solid damage, though. It's just hard to get hits on this boss sometimes. Damn, I actually caught up to me. Man, even life gems sometimes take forever to use. Better than flasks, though. Nope. Fine. Oof, what is There we go. Easy fight. And Chandra. I think we'll go for Flynn's ring too. What is my, uh... Oh yeah, my vitality's super low. I don't think I've even increased it. It should be at level 6 still. So we'll definitely do Flynn's Ring. I feel like I haven't used Flynn's Ring in so long. Couple more hits. All right, Nishandra down. Victory achieved. New game is done. Go ten second credits. Gotta love it. This mod is so nice to have. <laughs> Otherwise, you're sitting there for, like, ten minutes. I miss the song, though. I really like the, uh, the credits theme. All right, 18, 30, we'll do a little more ADP, we'll do some Vigor. I'm trying to think of anything else I might need. I could buy a Bright Bug. Did I ever buy any? Hmm, I got three. Okay. It's more than normal. I feel like normally it's zero. Grab these for 10k. And I guess I could just top off on life gems. So we are level 118. Anything else we need to do? I don't think so. I think we're good to just go to Journey 2. We got our enchanted battle axes. I can't see what else we would need. Two battle axes and dream. Let's go. So we could do... I don't know if I want to do Dragon Rider first. No, I don't want to do Dragon Rider first. We'll, do, we'll get Flynn's Ring first. Uh, what? Why did that hawk do, like, almost half of my health? The heck, man. Are we on torches? 20 minutes? 18 minutes? Okay. 
Don't, I'm not gonna worry. Ugh. I'm not gonna worry about this torch then. I don't know why I'm getting this. I don't need it. Do not need. Back in sunny Majula. It's like we never left. I mean, we were literally here a minute ago. <laughs> you can never leave. Let me rest here so I can get back to full health. Did I, uh, do I have an S to shard by any chance? I do not. Okay. I was just curious. Take this, she says, and then gives me nothing. I know it's because she can't give it to you, but it's just funny that she says the same thing. Okay, this time... Well, I guess we're not going to Alicia yet. We're going down here. We'll do, uh... Can we do the rats? I guess we just we could just do the rats. Why not? I don't have a second weapon to rush. I already got both of them. I feel like no matter what I do, I have to do the rod before Freya. Like I don't have to, but joining the Rat Covenant helps so much with Royal Rat Authority. Mainly, mainly not really the fight. It's just getting through doors of Pharaohs. Very helpful with that because everything leaves you alone, except for like that first room. Roy with his invisible crossbow and whatever else he has. I actually don't know what he's using for a weapon. I can't see it. Oh, yeah, I don't have a uh, yeah, ring now. Duh. These rats mean business. They actually do hurt in New Game Plus. The L2 is pretty good for them. You just have to not get staggered during it. Well, it's good if it hits. I still love how dramatic this music sounds for what this boss really is. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, the life chip saved me. That's actually incredible. <laughs> I thought I was dead. And then I saw my health going back up. Little greedy there. Where is he at? There he is. Of course it missed. Too many rats. I can't see. I'm paranoid. Like I get hit by two rats and the the main guy, I I will be dead. I like how he backed off as he got closer and waited for his buddies. Where is he? Uh, there he is. Like there's two hits and uh, goodbye. Sixty something percent of my health. Seventy. Oh, I hit the statue. Just let me hit him, man. I keep hitting the stupid statue. Where's he at? I lost him. There he is. Run it away. It's fine. We're good. Get me out. Yes. I sweareth. I think he said swearest. I swearest. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can just walk away. <laughs> no one asked. Stop talking. Oh, I almost just fell because of the post there. This way, right? Yeah. So we're going to do Gulch Giants, get the DLC key, and then go do the Rotten. Oof, that was kind of close. Just going to heal up real quick.
should maybe get the Ring of Giants. That could be nice. Having more poise. I don't know how it works though. I don't know if it's like percentage-based poise or flat amount. Big difference. Big, big difference depending on your armor. Because if you have like five poise and it gives you 20% more poise, you go up one. But if it gives you 20 more poise, it's a lot more than one. It's 20. Plus the five. I didn't know where he was. I heard the- I, I just went right for the pot, but he came at me from a different angle. Wasn't expecting it. Is there any more of those dudes? I swear to god. I heard someone drop down, I think. Oh, that's fine. It's a random hollow. Bummer, I can't get the, uh... Oh, I can still get these life gems, actually. I think if you have more than... or less than 20 life gem slots available, you can't pick those up. So if you have, like... 80. You can't get them. 80 or more. Stop. No poison, no poison. Sick. One of these days I'll learn how to run through that without getting, like, hit at all by the poison. Maybe. Like this. Can't see a thing. Are you not? You're actually not dead, huh? That's unfortunate. That attack's scary because the hitbox is just so big on it. I would love to see the hitboxes of these guys, honestly. On some of these attacks. Oh, he wasn't done. Wow, not dead. Here we go. You know, actually, I think I should get homeward now that I think about it. Hmm. Nah, actually, I don't think we need it. Not yet. We, we'll get it after uh, we get through this. Go grab the DLC key. I was thinking I need it for, like, parts of DLC 3, but I don't really. I'm, I think I'm just going to get the first bonfire in DLC 3 and then leave. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Do I need Homeward for anything else? Did I go the wrong way? No, we're fine. Drop. Thank you. I think I can get the bonfire before Lana without needing homeward. It's the one year rock shield balder I need it for. I don't really need it for him, but it helps. All right, back to here. We gotta talk to Grandal and then we'll do the rotten. You know, bless DS2 for having a, uh, a reusable homeward bone that doesn't cost souls to use every time. DS1 didn't have that. Right, no invader. I don't think I can get evaded down here anyway. Maybe you can, I don't know. How is my equip load, by the way? 40%. I could get some more vitality. Like, it's not- 40 is fine, but it could be better. Use the thing. Uh, you know what? Don't use the thing. Just run. Continue to run. Try running. The Ryan is going to hurt. He's going to do probably almost my entire health bar if he hits me. Maybe not with the hand, but with the uh, machete. I feel like he would. 
or a grab. Oh, that was close. Ugh. This damage is putrid. That's quite a bit of damage. One, two. Forgot the Ring of Giants, I just realized. Classic. Um, hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll just get this first bonfire and then leave. Kind of want to keep these souls. Don't want to die randomly to who knows what. Then I'd have to go fish them out. No thanks. So after this, we got Old Dragon Slayer. Gotta get through to the dragon, dragon rider, ask for that, we'll get homeward, and then we'll do flexile. Good old Shulva. Good old Sin. Alright, back to Majula. Oh yeah, we have to come for Flynn's Ring. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let me level first. <laughs> I totally forgot, that's why we're here. Do a little more Vigor, we can do more Int. 33... Probably more vigor. I also want to get some stamina. Creep that up slowly. All right, back here. Let's get Flynn's Ring. We'll get to F uh, Lana's bonfire probably after Flynn's Ring. How did I forget this? Nice baby jump. Rest. Cat ring still on. I wonder if we can jump over this railing. I've never done it, but I don't even know if it's possible. I'm guessing probably not. Time for this lovely part. Two. One more. Let me in. And then what do we do left here? It's been so long since I got this ring, I don't remember. Yes, left, indeed. Boom. Another ring for the collection. Let's take off... I'm gonna take off the cat ring for now. Not the cat ring, the silver serpent ring, because I'll need the cat ring a little bit. Not really killing anything here. What? Hello. And you up there be nice. Saved. I still can't believe these guys can be hit with elemental damage. Like, I had no idea for so long that that was a thing. You just can't hit him with physical damage. Hmm, this way. And then we just pray we get this piece. We will not. This is not gonna work. <laughs> Okay, hang on. Hang on. This guy really needs to come out of the... Well, I'm dead. Never mind. Honestly, I have Flynn's Ring. I'll probably just come back later. I got what I needed. Bummer, though. Good thing I leveled up. All right, we're going back to... Here, we're going to go to Dragon Rider. Old Dragon Slayer and Dragon Rider. Well, Dragon Slayer first, because it's easier to do... I think it's easier to do him first. Unless you want all the Hades Knights in your path, instead of just, like, two. I think with this damage, we should be fine to kill... What's-his-face? The, uh, the dragon. Hopefully. 
Anyway, you never know. But the damage does seem all right. Just gonna try and run past everything. Hopefully it works. Sometimes it does and sometimes it does not. I mean, running past everything's not hard. It's just like killing the dragon before everything catches up to you. That's the tricky part. Okay, this is good damage. I just need two more hits. One, two. Nice. I don't think we'll necessarily get the switch here, but the dragon being dead is huge. Just gotta run around in a circle, I guess. Until I get on the other side. Bring them all over here, and then... Oh, that guy died. Is that the, uh, that the extra dude? I think it might be, which is good. Oh, we run it. It can't catch us. It might catch us. I think we're good. Nice try, buddy. Very rare that I can do all this in one cycle. Uh-oh. Might have spoke too soon. Once you get on the... Oh, hang on. What? You- oh my god, you can't- there's like a little wall there. I didn't think that was gonna be a thing. And then it pushed me to the right. The hell was that, man? Why is there a wall there? It's a chain. You're supposed to- like- <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't just walk through it, to be honest. We need to take another peek at that. Harder to do so when you have like five dudes behind you. But I want to see it again. Yeah, so this guy died. The one that was right here. Doesn't really matter now, because you can kind of just run through these guys anyway. Let's see this again. Look at that. There's just a wall right there. It goes well past the chain. Not cool. Right, lingering hitbox. Nice, but I can't follow up. I don't know when it's safe to go back in. Victory! Alright, now Dragon Rider with, uh, no cheese. Now we gotta get homeward, gotta kill Lisha, and then we'll do Flexile. So that'll be five new game plus bosses. 36 to go. It's a lot. I missed, I think. Yeah, I did. Ugh. A little too far to the left. Drink. Oh yeah, we're fighting him normally. No cheese, no cheese. You stay on the platform. Not bad. Smooth. Okay, don't forget Homer this time. And the chime. Imagine just going into a shop. Well, this is gonna get dark in a second. <laughs> but this is basically what this is like. You go to a shop, you buy something from the shopkeeper, and then you just kill them. <laughs> May the power... Got what I needed. It's pretty ruthless. 
Ruthless and unhinged behavior. That's like beyond unhinged. She might kill me though. She will pr not probably. She will one shot me if she hits me. Oh, she's stuck. Oh, hang on. Get out of here. Yeah, it's like some weird robbery, right? It's like instead of just like robbing a store, you like buy the items first and then rob the store. Rob, in this case, is murder, but you know. Anyways, we're going to Flexile Sentry <laughs> to change the subject to get away from this lighthearted topic. I'll probably wait on leveling, although if I die on the way to Flexile, I'm probably not getting these back. But like, how much are we really getting? It's like four levels. Let me out. It's so dark here, man. And then you have the fire in random places that makes it even harder to see in the dark parts because your eyes just gravitate towards the light. Luckily, most of it's not lit, but some of it is. Like that first part over there by the bell ringing. The, the lever for the bell. I guess it is the bell, too. Ship lights up, right? I think it gets like blue lights, blue fire or something. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe once it gets to... Nope, it's actually blue right now. I can see it. It's like a ghost ship. Except there are no ghosts on it. Just one double-headed lizard man thing. What an interesting mechanic, though. Like, having to call the ship to port. I mean, it's just sitting right there. No one else is ringing the bell. And then from here, you can go to, uh... The Lost Bastille. So... Suspicious Shadow have, like, the weirdest movement. It's just very fast. I don't know it that well. You never know I farmed these guys for, like, probably several hours when I was doing the Malform Claws run. Because I don't remember what their moveset is. I just know they're super annoying. Judging by the fact that I cannot seem to heal. Uh-oh. Stop! I just want to get to full health and then we'll fight him. There we go. No way. Oh, that's probably death. Gotta be careful on that one. That second attack of that combo is like kind of delayed, and I would always roll it early for the longest time. Two swings, not three. Staggered? Sick. Oh, I gotta put Homer on too, I forgot. Do that real quick. Up burn a tune. Do that. Travel Majula. We'll level up. Where's she at? Where did I get it? Oh yeah, the uh the well shard from the well. Forgot I got that. Level. Do 40, we'll do some more int. Ah, one point of damage. Nice. I was hoping we'd get a bigger boost from this, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Endurance. ADP. I think this is pretty much all we're going to be leveling, or these four things. I might get more vitality, too. But we'll see. Probably not until I have, like, everything else where I want it. All right, well, I think we'll call it there for today. We'll pick up next time, probably with the last giant, I think. We'll, we'll go do that. Get Malincha back here, and we'll make our way towards the Lost Bastille. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching.